Hello, all you imps, pixies, and other fine fey folk. It's me, Michelle, the Hobby Hobbit. This is a channel where we play with different kinds of artsy, crafty things, but we're master of none. To those of you who have just wandered across my channel, I would love it if you would consider giving me a like and a subscribe. It helps my baby channel grow. To those of you who have subscribed and have come back, hi. How are you? How you doing? Welcome back. Right. Got a list of links in my description box. Check them out. They're channels and different products I like. Uh, these are my three favorite um, Etsy shops. Uh, this is for seam binding. This is for printables. And she does a little bit of everything. This is June. She is offering a 20%, no, sorry, 25% discount if you spend $40 or more in her shop. She does not list everything she has. So if there's something you're looking for, shoot her a message. Chances are she's got it, can make it, knows where to find it. Um, I do ask that you send a hi if a Hobby Hobbit sent me if you do make a purchase to any of those three shops. Okay, so today um, I want to make snippets because I have a ton, a ton, a ton of buttons and I have a ton of different kinds of, of, of fabric lacy snippet things. So I thought, let's have some fun. I really liked those snippets that we made for the lavender journals. Um, I really, really liked those. So I thought, well, let's just have some fun with snippets and things. I'm going to start off because I happen to have some red right here. Let's do something in red, yeah? Um, why don't I get... Where's my little bit of... Where's that one lace? There it is. I want to do some with that lace, too. Uh, let's just see what all we've got. I've got all kinds of stuff. Some of this stuff I purchased from the lovely Junk Journal Diva. Some of it she gifted me. We've got seam binding, like old seam bindings and things. I've got seam binding from the Scrap Cabin Shop and that shop from Etsy. So we got lots of stuff we can play with. First and foremost, though, I'm thinking let's do something with this red. I don't want to do big snippets. We need some skippies. I don't want to do big snippies. So we got some of that. Let's find a little bit. I think this little bit of white lace will work perfectly. Just throw a little lace on there. Uh, a button. I have some really cute Christmas buttons somewhere. You guys, I am so crowded in right now. I'm having a hard time functioning. On top of that, I the company car that I drive, the AC is shot in it. There's no AC, you guys. I'm drenched in sweat by the time I get home. I, something's going to change because I'm so nauseous and dizzy right now just from having this horrible drive home. Ooh, it's, it's not a fun time for the fat little Hobby Hobbit here. Seriously, it is not a fun time. So I think I'm going to have one of my guys price check some Freon for me so that I do not disappear in a flurry of fat sweat. Seriously, like I'm so nauseous right now from being hot all the way home. Couldn't roll the windows down because it's so stinking hot outside too. So I'm running the AC for what little bit it's worth and it's just like barely cooling down. Ugh. Yeah, I wasn't a happy, ha happy camper at all. I'm going to do a little tear tear. And I can tear that. I want a little bit of this white to go behind the red. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking this so far. And then maybe a white and stripe. Since we've got polka dots, why not do a red and white stripey? Yeah. I like it. Yeah, that's cute. I like it. Um, would that lace be too much? Yeah, I think it would. Okay, so. Dark red. I think I want to go with. We'll go with the dark red. 
What did I do with? There they are. So all we're going to do is we're just going to sew these buttons on in place. Yeah. I'm going to try to see how many I can make given this mass like craft explosion that has happened here and my whole sense of I, I've got to, oh, oh, yeah, we're going to, we're going to try. We're going to try to see how much I can do. I'm not going to guarantee anything between being dizzy from and nauseous and then having to fight with this explosion of stuff sliding around me. We may or may not have a successful Oh snap. This is not a sharp needle at all. Hold on. We might need an actual sharp needle. One that might actually puncture all of this material. Didn't think about that. So you guys, I have a little side table that I bought that I've got to put together that's on wheels. So this little hobby hobbit is thinking that mayhaps I'll be able to get the sewing machine that I'm so afraid of out and start to sew. Um, because it'll sit on the side table over here that I can then wheel beside me and just kind of turn around and, and sew pages and bits and things. Um, that's kind of the plan. I do have a pile or a box of paper that I got really, really cheap that I'll need to move. But I got some ideas for organizing that too. Well, we're just going to take that one little bit out. That doesn't have to be there. No, it don't. No, it don't. Okay. I think we're going to leave this in front up. Not exactly how quick I wanted to go, but I do want to tie a knot. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to tie a knot and a bow. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. This is so stinking cute, you guys. Oh, it's cute. Oh, she's cute. Oh, it's cute. I like it. I like it. <gasps> Yay. Okay. Um, just grabbing it random. Let's try. What about this gray? We've tried gray before. Uh, not in making anything with it other than I was going to make something when we did the black and white and gray all over journals. And I'm not 100% certain that I ever did actually finish anything with it or do anything with it. So we're going to do a bit of tear tear. I don't think I have black. No. We might need two. But what I'm thinking is, is having like something really bright and almost obnoxious standing here against it. And then, and then. And then, uh, <clears throat> him facing, oh, that'll be perfect. Look how aged that is, you guys. Look at that. Can you see that? Oh, that's fun. Okay. Nope, that's not going to want to tear properly. That's okay. We can have it zigzag. It can zigzag all at once. In fact, we might just do something like that to have it. No, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get that delicious 
grunginess for a different piece. Put that there. I like the way you do it right there, right there. Oh, what if I get this real big button? Let's just see. I got these off of eBay, you guys. Like, I've got a ton of buttons that I got off of eBay. I know I probably don't need to sort them. But, do I really want to? No, not so much. Let's see if we can find... That's a big, massive black button. That could be fun to put there, but I think that'll need to be... Ooh, what about that one? Nope. Um, that one could be fun. Clearly, not everything in here is a button. It's a bit smaller. I mean... I'm definitely going to have to go through this because I think that could be right. Right about there. That's about the size I think I want. Okay, so since we've got the gray and we've got that obnoxious kind of blue on there, I think I want to do blue. And just tie it all in as a gray and blue piece. Yeah? Uh oh, what did I do with it? There it is. Don't want to lose that. I like the way we do it right there. Don't worry, I'm going to do another one with this one. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, so sewing. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to reach out to June, I think, because, you know, she's my craft go-to for advice. And I think I'm going to have her walk me through. I'm really afraid because I, back in high school, I took a class, a home economics class, and I managed to blow up two sewing machines in one day in the same class. And that is not a lie. That is a factual statement, my friends. I think I want to try and do this another wrap around. Is that there? Make it a little bit more secure. I am really digging these little button snippets. Okay, let's do a little teeny tiny bow if we can. That may be too short. I got big old like sausage fingers here. I want that to be a little bit smaller of a bow. Yep, that's what I want. Okay, now where'd the other gray piece go? There it is. Okay, so let's do, shall we do like a purple? Or maybe we can just do, we could do gray and white. Because I've got the white here. Do another snippy snips. We'll put that on the bottom. So we've got that gray poking up. I've got some really pretty black kind of ribbons. Nope, that is so not going to cut. Or rather tear. Put that there. 
And then what if, let's see, what's this one? I like this ladder kind of stuff too. Let's put a strip or so of this, like right across that. Now let's try and find a really pretty little white button, yeah? I think I want a stark white. Yeah. Oh, what about this little teeny tiny one down here? I think that's a better match for everything, yeah? Okay, now. I have gray. Yes, I do. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is fun. I like doing these. How come I've not done these before? Maybe I just needed like a mass storm of inspiration. Like I'm looking and I've got all these buttons. And I've not done anything with the buttons. And then I've got like this material that I'm not doing anything with. And then I've got all this other ribbon and stuff. I think I just needed a mass like, what the heck are you doing with this to hit me? Hit me with your best shot. There we go. Okay. Now maybe instead of putting everything in the middle, maybe I could off-center it some. We're going a little risky, you guys. We're doing a little something different. Leave that up a little bit. I'm really digging the bows on the front. I think maybe I saw this with from Camellia or from Juliet Camellia Crafts Designs. Maybe. I can't remember. I think she did something with with material snippets, maybe. Of course, knowing the lovely Julie, it was probably something with like butterfly material or something of that nature. The longest part of this is me trying to tie these knots with my big old fat fingers. I definitely like the smaller bows on these. Okay. Oh, how many have we done? Have we done three already? Wow. Okay. Let's look and see. I don't know why that wow went out like that. I've got something purple. Ooh, yes. We're going to do some purple with this. Oh, yeah. Ooh, and I could do this gray as well. Y'all. Mmm. Yes, queen. Yes. These snippets I've picked up, I think, at Walmart, at Hobby Lobby, Joanne's, maybe Michael's. I'm not 100% where I've picked up them all. I was going to use them way back when I very, very, very first started. I was going to use them to cover journals. I maybe I ought to show you like one of my very first journals that I did. It's not spectacular by any means. I have learned so much just from having this little bitty channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. I'd like to try and get to a thousand subscribers by the end of December where I would like to be whether it happens or not I don't know so if you guys have friends that watch YouTube share my information say y'all if you want a crazy cray cray lady to follow and watch mm, have I got the hobbit for you she's just a crazy little hobbit working in her shire a crazy little hobbit Actually, I think I'm going to fold that up. Do-da. Do-da. 
I'm gonna put it that away. Oh, da do da day. Oh, do da dee. Oh, da do da day. I th June, did you send me this? June, I think you sent me this. This is your sorry silk, right? I like the way that puckers right there. <laughs> that was almost a song. I like the way it puckers right there, right there. <laughs> okay, that's what we're doing right there. I like that. Let's go ahead and grab some more of this purple. What did I do with that? There it is. I want to make sure I don't lose that needle because I know me. And I will probably end up stepping on that later. I already know. I already know. So I have to be careful. I really should get a needle thread. Normally I don't have a problem. But since I'm using a needle that can actually poke through material instead of just through book pages... I am struggling a bit with this. Okay. You can go in there. Tomorrow is Wednesday, you guys. I'm so happy. My great niece, her birthday party. She turned one last week, but her birthday party is this Sunday. And I believe mom and I are going to try to go to it. Um, but we're going to go up early, um, you know, because COVID is out and about and we just, we don't want to risk it. I just, I don't want to risk it with mom's health. Since COVID's making a strong, strong comeback. So likely, and I need to text her mama tonight and let her know likely what's going to happen is we'll probably be up around noon. So we can just come up and visit and see them for a little bit and then we'll just excuse ourselves and head home before the party. Plus, honestly, the party isn't until three. That's a bit late for this girl, you know, cause it's an hour and something away. And then by the time we go there and then get home and then I've got to work and be, you know, on the road, get up at six o'clock the next morning. Ooh. And mom and I are getting our COVID vaccines boosters on Saturday, so I'm not for sure how we're going to feel. I've not really had a reaction other than not being able to move my arm for three days off the boosters, but I believe this is going to be a different vaccine brand than what I've taken the last three, and that makes me nervous. The last three that I've had have been a Miner Minerva Moderna. I think I want to do that there. Um, what if we do a strip of this? There. But what if we do it kind of like that? And now, I wish I had like a purple, hmm, I wish I had like a purple button or something. I don't think I do. What about these? Oh, hang on. I think I just saw what I'm looking for. Well, oh, that's not exactly purple. That's kind of purpley. I think I would rather have that one, though. Mr. Jeffy has learned to scratch at the door. He's learned that from Marvel. So he's sitting here scratching at the door and wanting in. That's got a little butterfly. Are those butterflies? What do you think? Can you tell?
Okay, none of these are striking my fancy. I wonder if, didn't I have a set of what looked like colored ones? Wasn't this colored ones? Yes, I, do I see purple? I think I do. Oh, but I like that one better. I like that one better, that's for sure. I like that. Yes, I do. I kind of want to free this up some if I can. Yeah, let's get that looking all ratty. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, so let's put you along here. And get our ratty Mr. Mister there. And get you right there. I feel the need for some yellow or some vintagey looking ones too. You guys, this is really, really fun. It's like no think. It's a no think thing. Oh, poop. That's not going to work. Not for what I want it for. might though. Yep, that one's going to do. I'm going to do that right there. And I'm just going to move that down a bit. Do any of you guys watch any of the true crime um, channels on YouTube? I do. I like the Red Tree, Ewu, and Stranger Stories are my favorites. Um, and then I th there was another one that I was just starting to watch. Um, I think it was Euphoria, maybe, or something like that. But I really like watching, to, well, listening to them while I'm at work. I used to, when I was at my other st store I would uh, watch some of the crafting stuff too because I could kind of glance down every now and again but now I just I don't have time but I can kind of listen to the true crime because I don't have to really pay attention I'm listening to some of it but I can always you know the interrogations go on so long you, you're not going to really miss anything if you don't listen for the all of the hour that it takes Okay. Do I have anything? I have... Ooh, that's kind of cute. We can work with that. And we can work with some pineapples, too. What do you think? Yeah? Mm, a little bright. A little bright. This is loops and threads, wherever that's from. Probably Michael's or Joanne's, I'm going to guess. I don't think this is a Walmart one. Okay, let me get that thrown away. Do, 
do 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 Let's just There we go. I didn't get all the jar, but we get the gist of it. Now, do I have... No, I don't have any bright yellow. So we're going to go back to the white, I think, lace for this. Strip of that. That's a nice bit of cardboard. I like that. This was Hobby Lobby. I just got this from Hobby Lobby the other day. this like this we're gonna have this as a bigger snippet and then I see this nice big beautiful yellow button right there I think that's what we're gonna do what do you guys think yeah I think so let's use some of this pretty little lemon ribbon Oh, come on. <laughs> that split way big. Holy cow. That's way too much of a split. We're going to try to put this back together, and if it doesn't work, we're going to cut another piece. Because we definitely want a thick little bow, don't we? I can hear Mr. Marble outside the door now. The handsome puppy. I'm such a handsome little boy. There we go. Oh, I like doing these. These are so much fun. They're so stinking relaxing. And you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm not going to do a bow on this. I'm just going to tie a knot and let it frazzle. I'm just going to let... Ugh. We're just going to let it kind of hang. Because I don't think I can get a bow out of that. Do we want to do another yellow? Oh. 
Ooh. Yes, because we're going to put this behind it. This, I think, is Walmart. Fabric quarter is Walmart. I'm pretty sure. I'm not going to worry about keeping that. That's not a good piece. I for sure want a full piece of pineapple. Now, do we want to cut it down some? Or do we want to... Maybe we can put the green on top. Yeah. We'll do the green on top, and then we'll put a little sliver of this next to it. So we'll put the green like that. Sliver of this across it. And... Maybe a green button. Ooh. We have a nice bright green button anywhere in here. That's a dark green that I think will work. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So now we've got that. Let's pull this out. And I'm going to do a longer piece because I've got four of these to go into. Uh-oh. Where did the needle go? There it is. Although, hmm. Yeah, let's do the four piece. Why not? Do I want, do I want that white on there? I feel like it needs that. But I don't want it. One. 
Come on. Two, let's get the needle up a little bit longer. Two. Three. Come on. There we go. Two. I really want this to be up this way so it'll cross across it. So we're going to try and go up a different. There we go. Yeah, that's what I want it to do. So I'm listening to the Earthwalker series from PC Cast. Um, I'm on the fourth book in the install in, in the wow, can't talk. Is it the fourth book in the installment? I can't remember now. The first book was a little bit rough because I was having a really hard time with the girl that narrates it, with the way she chose to have these people talk. It was like she was reading, like on, it felt to me like she was reading and had the words blown up and she would read at the end and then she would start the next sentence. That's how it felt like it was stuttered um, to me. But she's gotten much better as, I don't know what that's the way she chose just to have that type of people talk, um, but it's definitely gotten a little more fluid. I don't think I would, if I had the choice, listen to another book by the same narrator or um, voice actor. But I definitely like PC Cast. If you've not checked out her stuff, I definitely recommend doing it. I have a subscription to audio, so, you know, that's what makes bearing my driving going back and forth to work bearable is listening to these books on tape as I go. So we've done one, two three, four, five, six. Not bad, y'all. What do you think? Let me know. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.